threw this one on there too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we got my baby man Jay Paul, you know, coming off that close loss against Tommy Fury. He's gonna be taking on Nate Diaz, who got that what they call that the uh, the, the the Bay the Bay Area slap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that Bay Area slap gonna you know do Jay Paul in, or is, is Jay Paul just too big, too strong for Nate Diaz? I don't know. I would say he's too big, too strong. Cause Nate Diaz is is, is is a big guy in, in itself. It, it's just that he's not the greatest uh, boxer. Plus, he, he's 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 in you even in UFC terms, he's past his, his due date on that man. He he's pretty old. He's a lot more worn. So Jake Paul, his people is doing a great job of of, of selecting these fights with you know legends that's past it. Uh, I, I'm still not sure. If I see Jake Paul even still beating Nate Diaz, though, I mean, I think it's a close fight. I don't think it's like, you know, he'll wash, he'll whitewash uh, Diaz or Diaz would, would, would knock out Jake Paul. But I can see, you know, I can see Diaz, you know, beating Jake Paul, though. So um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, never, I'm never really that intrigued about these fights, but I'll definitely tune in to see what's going to happen. What's Carl Sean said Nate is 37. Yeah, man, he's old 37, man. This dude was fighting Conor McGregor, like, what, seven, eight years ago? <laughs> like, probably longer than that, man. Nate, 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 Nate. Nate's been around a minute, man. Nate, Nate probably been in UFC probably about, what, 15 years? <laughs> Something like that. You know, Nate, uh, Andre Ward is high on Nate's boxing ability. You know, he talk about that slap. He's like, I be seeing him in the gym. He don't look like much, but he tapped you on that chin with that little slap. So that's going to be interesting to see as well. Um, also, Shelton mentioned in a previous, I apologize for not seeing that, but he says, do you agree? Do you guys believe that when he called Kriegel during the Stevenson fight and said he was standing at 35 after he beats Loma? We'll see, man. We'll see. I don't know. You know, it, it, it all depends, like, on what his body is telling him. Because sometimes you can, you, he, he's gotten down there and he probably think that, okay, I can get down there and I still can perform. I felt good inside the ring after I rehydrate. I just have to get down to that weight. But, you know, you playing with fate, you know what I'm saying? Because you might do that one time and then it's just not there. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. How, I think he's going to play with it and keep doing it until he, um, he, he, he has that experience of not feeling himself when he enters the ring. And hopefully it's not against the, um, in, in the Loma fight, because Loma's highly skilled. I think Loma got a little bit more pop in his punches than people give him credit for. And then you definitely don't want to be in a situation where you weaken against Tank, because Tank can take full advantage of that. And you'll really be hearing some bedtime stories. We got, uh, yeah, he's 37, and then also, so he started at 20. Okay, okay. My man, Matt Shelby, knowing this stuff. Um, as far as what I think, for one, I see on here it says August 5th. So it looks like I'll be watching this bad boy when I'm out there in Rio de Janeiro, um, Brazil. Also, um, my man, man, his name for Kyle, who's fighting against Morel. I'm going to be rooting for you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to <laughs> Brazil. Um, but I'll be out there the week before that. I'll be back in Milwaukee for um, a family reunion and whatnot. So... You know, shout out to both of these guys. You know, I, I, hopefully I'm watching the fight. You know what I'm saying? You see some of them chicas out there in, uh, uh, in a Copa Cabana. You understand what I'm saying? I might be like, forget old Jake and, and Nate Diaz. But anyway, um, as far as the fight is concerned, I have no clue. You know what I'm saying? Because Nate is just tough. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not going to, like, right now, like, even attempt to make any type of prediction, you know, on who I think is favorite in this and who's not. Um, I just have to look at him a little bit more as far as just his technique. I just see how tough he is in the ring. Like he's always competitive against anybody that you put him in there with. And so I, I think that would be the case when it comes to this fight against Jake Paul. He's just a tough, hard-nosed dude. He's hard not to root for, you know what I mean? Because he's just old blood and guts. Um, so I look forward to it. Like you said, Jake Paul is doing a really good job of marking himself against different opponents that people want to see. You know what I mean? They're intrigued because it's so close. Like it could go either way, um, and so we'll we'll see. I, I'm, I'll be entertained by it, you know whether or not it's going that night, the day after. You know what I mean? Sipping on a nice little local drink with an umbrella, you know, out there in Brazil. But what about you, uh, Ty? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Jay Paul in this one. You know, uh, 
Yes, he did lose to, you know, Tommy Ferry, but Tommy Ferry was, you know, the first real boxer that he fought. But at the same time, you know, he dropped, he dropped Tommy Ferry, you know, he dropped the real boxer, you know, he also dropped Anderson Silva, you know, he's also dropped, you know, Tyron Woodley. So, you know, he's, he's dropping athletes, you know what I mean? He's, he's dropping guys that's, that's bending that octagon, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and, and Jake Paul definitely has the youth. So, and he's a big guy as well. So. I'm going. I'm gonna go for Jake Paul in this fight. Like I said, we we seen what he can do with all these uh, different athletes. So, you know, I'm I'm glad he's getting back in there. You know, right after his loss, you know, with Ferry, you know, he's showing he's showing that you know it's not over for him. You know, just because he lost, so you know he's getting right back in there. You know, this fight is right in Dallas, Texas. You know, and uh, even though neither guy, you know, are real boxers, it's not a fight that I would want to go see. You know, of course, I'm upset. You know, with the um. Virgil Ortiz and, you know, uh, staying on this fight, you know, being called off, you know, due to, uh, you know, Virgil Ortiz's illness. So uh, it is, it is, you know, and uh, Dallas Texas, you know, I got a lot of fan friends out there. So I'm definitely, I definitely, you know, cover, you know, Jake Paul, you know, he's a huge, you know, he's a huge star, you know, he's got like 20 million, you know, subscribers on YouTube. So, you know, he's doing his thing, man, get right back in there. But I'll probably go for, you know, Jake Paul, Jake Paul probably by, I would say probably by decision in this fight. Yeah, you know, I, I lived out there in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, 14 years, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when I was out there, they didn't call it Dallas, they called it Dallas, you know what I'm saying, making that money out there. But, you know, it should be a nice event. I'm, I'm certain that it'll be out there at uh, where the Mavs play, um, which is a nice, nice little arena. Um, I don't think this will pack out Jerry World. Um, I don't think, but you just never know. But, you know, good boxing talk, fellas, man. Anything else you guys want to discuss, you know, as we close this show? And before we do, I do want to shout out the fellas in the chat. My man, man, Shelton, you know, he was active in there. You had Amari Peniment. Um, you had Scotty. I know Scotty was up in there. Help me out, fellas. I can't go back up yeah, there. Yeah, Chris G. Chris you know, G. You there, what up, though? Yeah, what up, though? You, you you know, Chris G, you can always come on, too. You know what I mean? You, oh, yeah, my, my twin, Shadell. Yeah, okay. Up okay. There, you know, yeah. Scotty, yeah. Jimmy Chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them, man. You know, yeah. appreciate you. Appreciate you, uh, you know, rocking out with us today. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, you know. Um, and then on the way out, uh, Ty, we was talking about Berlinga last week as far as him and Quigley. You Hola, soy Jolie de Medellín y estás viendo la Squad 11 de Bar, el mejor canal de boxeo. Dale me gusta y suscríbete. Y me puedes encontrar en Instagram como Jolie1026 Sánchez. Bye.